Let's start over here with the electrical components. Uh, this is the main power, and this is the blower. So, turn the main power on, it shows the temperature, and that's coming from the sensor here. It's measuring the output gas temperature as it goes out to the generator. Main is on, then blower's on. Blower's starting. Over here we have carbon monoxide detector and the charger. Uh, you can look at your peak level, you know, holding the, that button. Uh, it'll go off if there is carbon monoxide leak, so you um, gotta figure out what's going on charger. Um, this plugs into the generator. I'm going to hook it up to the shore, shoreline here. I'll show you that works. So, um, the power has to be on for the charging to work. When you, the power is off, the battery is disconnected from everything. So, here it's showing the battery is half full. If I had the power switch off, then it's going to look like this. It's going to say, I've got power, but I don't have a battery. So that, so generally, if you're running it on generator, you just keep it plugged into the generator, and then while it's running, you need to have that on, uh, measuring your output gas temperature and charging the battery. Battery's inside of here, uh, along with all the other electronic wiring for the blowers and switches and so on. Um, so the gas, uh, let's see, the air goes in here. So this is a preheater. So the air, the outside air comes in here and it gets warmed up outside of the fireball. It goes in, comes up through the jet and um, burns inside of there. It comes through here, you get all of the amazing syngas creation creation going on in there. And the gas comes out here into the first filter, the cyclone filter. That's this guy here. It has a clean out right here. Clean out the big particles. The gas then goes up into filter two, which is steel wool. So I don't know if this is the right amount of steel wool or anything like that, but looks about right. So that does some filtering and cooling. And then the next is perlite. So this one has perlite in it. And then this filter keeps the perlite in there. So the gas comes in the bottom, so it comes out in the top, down the top of this one, and um, into the bottom of this one. Comes up through the perlite and this furnace filter, and then goes out there to to either, you know, when the handle is here horizontal, then the gas is going over here to the blower, and then up through. The flare, and then the gas to flip it over. Start the generator, and you're good to go. Um, water goes in this tank here. Uh, this is a little stopcock to let air in while it's running, and then crack this open. Uh, very little. It, it seems that you want as little water as possible, just kind of a, a drip a second. Seems to be about the best for adding the steam. Water is definitely optional. And down here uh, we have, uh, so this is the front. Down here on the this side we have the lighting port. So we got this T-handle here. And um, so we light put the torch in here to light it up and that goes up um, to the, the 
burn chamber and then this here is to poke um, put a, you can kind of view the fireball and um, poke um, your char when you first get started you need to loosen up the char around the the jet the nozzle there I guess to um, make sure the air flows in that area it can't be all blocked and needs to be uh, very loose so the air can flow through there and you can get it all started. 